Hello, Bill Molino here with Bill's History and Wargame World. And I did my introduction. Um, on the Wargame table for this week, we are working on the French Foreign Legionnaires fighting against the Bedouins. Um, today's rules are for the next few days, because this will I'll probably play a turn or two and then tie all the videos together and release it around um, uh, Thursday or so for the ending. And anyhow, it's Death in the Desert. Uh, it's using a D10 die. Um, these are free on the internet. They're written by Eric Burgess. B-U-R-G-S-S. -S. I like these quite a bit. Um, they're similar to uh, several other rule sets of the time period of the 80s. So uh, let's take a look at our game table. So each unit is uh, roughly a 10-man unit. And then uh, we're going to just start right into playing. It's a high die initiative to go first and then second. You activate a unit, place a chip when it's been activated. The unit may uh, move. It may move and fire, move and charge. And um, so anyhow, so I'm going to pause the camera, get a different angle here, review our troops. All right. Um, I've talked about this before. The Lewis guns. We got two of them. They roll 3D10. Uh, I reworked the figures. We have basically three 10-man companies supported by a, a heavy machine gun. The Bedouins are everywhere. Mission is the Legionnaires must uh, stop that caravan. Um, at this point, it's pretty much a, pretty much a point that they're carrying arms um, for the insurrection. All right. Um, well, the Bedouins are red. So they're going first. We used a Peter Dice. And we're going to activate that unit there. Now pause the camera. All right, we're going to activate this unit here. They're going to come down and try to hit, hit that. The Lewis gun unit right here. Roll our dice out there. Well, we got two and eleven. Well, believe it or not, I don't think they made it. Thirteen inches, roughly. So our Bedouin charge down here, and they rolled four D tens, four D tens for movement, and they would have gotten an extra one because they're charging. Sorry about that, folks. Uh, with an extra five, I just rolled. So yes, they they will go into hand-to-hand -hand combat. Um, of course, our stout legion will have the opportunity to uh, roll their morale, which is a 1 through 8 on a d10, to, uh, and I roll the 10. All right, 1 through 8, the legion, that company there, would have been able to fire. Um, unfortunately, the officer there, he uh, he must not have been paying attention. <laughs> well, that's sort of a, a, a brutal thing. And then I'm going to pause the camera, redo the angle. All right, right off the bat, I have a, get my die rolling box here. And we'll put our leader here. There we go. So our leader will fight this figure here. Blue is the leader with a plus one. Um, of course, this figure gets a, a plus one being mounted. And a Bedouin is in white. The Legionnaire is blue. Of course, that's a seven. That's a ten. And our leader is overrun. All right. Next one in line. And unfortunately... The Lewis Gunner is overrun. 
Well, this is sort of poor. Um, this figure here is going down after that Lewis Gunner. That Lewis Gunner kills him. Figure coming in on this rifleman. And this rifleman is dead. And this figure coming in on him. And we got to re-roll that tie. And that time this rifleman is dead. And our last Bedouin comes in on this rifleman. And that rifleman kills him. Now, if I had rolled that morale of 1 through 8, um, they would have been able to fire. And probably would have killed everyone. So, we have dead here. Here. So the Bedouins lost 2 of their 6. And as far as the Legion, they lost... A leader, two riflemen, and um, one Lewis gunner is dead. Now, and of course, they will fall back to here. So that's where we're at. And I'm going to um, have these Bedouins sitting there. All right. So now the Legion gets to activate, and all I do is keep flip-flopping back and forth. I'll place little poker chips on these units um, when they've been activated. All right, as you can see, I have my uh, poker chip out there. Um, this unit's already, um, because it was hit, r ran away, we are just putting a poker chip on that. This unit's going to go ahead and move. It rolls 2d10. It had 9 inches. So I'll pause the camera. I'm going to go ahead and move them. All right. The Legion moved their, their 9 inches. And uh, I got two separate units here. So this is a unit and this is a unit. I got to poker chip them. Now, they were allowed to move and fire. So... We are now going to get out the, the firing chart. We'll pause the camera. All right, for our firing chart, the French Foreign Legionnaire rifle, 6 through 10 to hit. And we are at short range, so we don't get a minus 1. 6 through 10 to hit. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So I'm going to roll to 10 dice. And these are for the rifles. I'll do the uh, officer la later. And I need 6 through 10s. And we've got 1, 2, 3. So all four of these have been hit. Um, now on a 1, 2, or 3, they... Uh, are knocked out of the saddle and still alive. Um, I did not roll any one, twos, or threes. So all of those Bedouins mounted are dead. Well, welcome back. Welcome back. I had to pause it because my uh, French Foreign Legionnaire music was gone. So I'm going to pick up my dead, I think, and place them in the tub. And um, the, the Bedouins activate something again and uh, so I'll pause it here I'm gonna leave the Legionnaire dead on the table uh, also what's uh, this Lewis guns laying here I'm gonna roll on a I don't know what do you think 50% chance we'll say an odd number it's broken even number it still works so we're gonna say a figure goes up grabs that Lewis gun in the sand from the dead comrade and the Lewis gun is back in action. All right. So, uh, last I knew, we were going to activate another Bedouin. We're going to activate the unit up here. They move. Oops, sorry about that, everyone. So those Bedouins move 3D10. And... Let's see what we get here. 18 inches. All right. 
So they're, they're about in this zone here. And I'm finding this, uh, I haven't played with these Legion Air Troops in quite a long time. Also, it's not a fort battle. Many times when you're playing fort, French Foreign Legion Air games, it's a, a fort battle. And in this one, we're at a different kind of scenario. So my Bedouins are going to fire down, I guess, on this company right here. Get out my uh, chart. Um, Bedouin Arabs, they need 8, 9, or 10. And we are probably over 8 inches. They're using Giselles and crappy muskets. The good rifles they have not captured. So we have 10 firing into this unit here. Needing um, 9s and 10s. By the way, the pistol is an 8, 9, or a 10 um, for under a foot. And uh, we didn't use the pistol because they were all killed in the saddle. So here we go. 8, 9s, and 10s. There's 1, 2, 3, 9s, and 10s. Excuse me, we're at long range. We have 3 hits. 3 hits on the Legion. However... The Legion are stout, hardy folk. So, believe it or not, one, two, or three saves them. And one is not dead, but two did die. And I'll roll again to see if it's a Lewis Gunner. We did not get the Lewis Gunner. So two figures have perished here from this shooting down here. Okay, so... It's the Legion's turn, and we're going to activate this unit and bring them up on the side. And they roll the 8 for 8 inches, so we'll pivot to there, pivot to there, fill in our center. And, boy, this is one complete turn. Now, our pistol range see what our camera looks like here okay so our pistol range is uh, a maximum of 12 inches so this officer um, he can't even shoot out there um, 16 is short range and I'll you know it's darn close to being short range and I'll I'll give it to him um, if I roll even it's short and I rolled odds, so we're going to say it's long range. So they get 10 rounds, 6 through 10, minus 1 for distance, so 7s through 10s. We need 7s, 8, 9s, and 10s. 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Wow. And we killed 6 Bedouins, but they have a saving throw. Uh, there are no saving throws in melee, by the way, in this rule set. Um, it's a brutal world out there. And we had one save, so the Bedouins lost five figures. Okay. Now we have five figures out there. The Bedouins have to roll one through five to stand. And here we go. One through five. They roll the two. Oh, there we go. They roll the two. So these Bedouins are fine. Their morale did not break. They have to roll the amount of figures they have. Um, we need to mark our unit there. So, probably what I'll do is I will play through one turn, download it, and then uh, uh, do another video for turn two and so forth. Um, I'm already at 15 minutes for turn one. All right, the Bedouins are going to activate the uh, the cavalry and eight 24 inches, and I don't have enough movement to. Uh, I'm going to swing them around here. And I don't know if you can see it in the camera. 
but I'm swinging these around to this side. I'm going to keep the pressure there and I'll mark them. So we're going to try to push this flank. So that Bedouin unit has moved. So I got to uh, move up the machine gun. Let's move the camera too. All right, welcome back. I moved the, the camera angle. We're going to get this machine gun moved up. And um, it moves 2D, 2D10. And it gets uh, it cannot move and fire, however. But I did get 11 inches. So I'm going to tie this on this flank. And so the machine gun can't move and fire. Um, but it's in a good position to cover the hill area. All right, and I need to mark that with my poker chip. How's that? And then um, a Bedouin unit needs to move. I'll pause the camera for that. Well, welcome back. This Bedouin unit moved up. Two, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's missing a few figures. Eight, nine, ten. All right, so they moved up. I need to poker chip them. Their range is 16 inches. Um, they can shoot at this gun crew. Needing, uh, they're going to shoot at the machine gun crew. They get an extra minus for that. So Arabs firing at that gun crew at long range. Nine, ten, and another minus one for a crew. They need a 10 to score a hit and we didn't get a single 10 so those Bedouins out there fired away now when I'm at the Gettysburg miniature toy soldier shop at Steinwehr Avenue I'm gonna pick up another bag of Arabs and spray paint them blue and muskets to make them the uh, fanatical blue Turgens and excuse my pronunciation on that uh, but the uh, the blue dye with it on their clothing made them blue like Smurfs all right this is my only unit left for the Legion we are advancing 12 inches I'm gonna pause the camera and move them up welcome back welcome back I moved my uh, Legion unit up this is the last of the Legion um, somewhere around here we got to put that chip there. And they're firing at close range. They need sixes to hit. And now I could give a plus one. I could allocate one of these units being green, experienced, or whatever. But I made everyone average for today's game. Um, we scored a lot of hits here. Um, two, one, two, three, four. Um, nine out of ten hits with six through tens. Um, Bedouin save on a one or a two, and they got one save. Um, so one's wow. Um, so two are alive. So that was a devastating, incredible, devastating uh, volley from that legionnaire unit. All right, I had to put the dead away, excuse me. Um, so our Legionnaires fired a devastating volley. They're gonna check morale. They have to roll a one or a two where they, they're gone. And so if they fail morale at five figures or more, they run away 2D10 and recover. If there are four figures are left and fail morale, they're eliminated. So, there's a, uh, the Legion did well there. Just can't get caught um, by a, a charge and hand hand combat and fail your uh, volley fire roll. Sort of like in the movie March and Die, where at the end Gene Hackman almost didn't, doesn't give the order to stand to. All right, let's pause the camera. All right, um, now my Arab units have uh, really got shaken up about that. Uh, that loss there, the opening drive, the Legion's lost about uh, one, two, four, six figures, and I lost a whole unit. 
Um, I'm going to go ahead and move all the rest of my Arabs. And my Legion are sort of done for now. And um, hold on, I'll get them moved, come back, and we'll do a recap for the end of turn one. All right, I, uh, I moved the rest of my Arabs. Um, some of them taken to the high ground. The rest are hiding behind buildings, um, waiting for initiative. I'm going to pause the camera and get another view here for you. So at the end of turn one, the Legionnaire have lost one leader, um, five riflemen. They've got a nice perimeter set up. Um, there are no Bedouins really close. The mission, though, is to get to that caravan. Um, I do have Bedouins up there on the hill and a few more there. Uh, this is the conclusion of turn one. I have to go around and pick up all the poker chips because we start with a new initiative turn. I'll go get a picture of the other side for you. All right, um, this caravan moves 1d10, and I rolled an 8 the last time, but I could roll even a 1. The mission is the Legion really needs to push forward and um, take out this caravan. And of course, this is a build game. I just threw stuff together, and I hope you're enjoying it. I'm going to conclude this video because turn one's over 20 minutes. I need your feedback. One, um, I'm actually playing the game while running the video. Is that slowing things down and making it boring? Or do you want me to keep doing that? During the Boar War game, I played the game and did a two-minute recap at the end of each turn. So turn one took, you know, 20 minutes, and you take a minute or two of my jibber-jabbering out. So that's where we're at. And Claude Bailey in Arizona, he asked about this tower. This tower was made by Blue Panther Games and Peter Schultz some 15 years ago. There was a time we were looking at making 3D printed Arabic buildings. It never came to light, but um, that's what it looks like. And I'm not sure, but I think you probably still could try to order one from Blue Panther Board Game Company. They have a laser cutter and wood. All right, so like always, I'm going to say stay safe, be kind, be courteous, leave your thoughts and your views. This is not a typical Legionnaire game. There is no fort. Um, that's about it. Thank you, everyone. And don't forget, I have Horns of the Buffalo on Kickstarter, the Zulu War game with 12 scenarios that can be used for miniature and board wargaming. Thank you.